When what? it detects enemies, it will intelligently switch between short and long range attack modes based on the distance to the target. Hey guys, so... Hey guys, so Farlight has released a new update video and I haven't seen it yet, so... Let's check it out together. So, what are gonna be the changes to this game and... Let's react! So, let's go! <clears throat> so, let's see what's the update. Hi folks, <coughs> Chance here. The vibrant summer is here. And Fallout 84 is getting ready for its new 2.4 version update on July 11. In this update, we're introducing new changes Ooh. to in-game progression system, revamped Momoi, along with our cute companions, and more news new on the big moves in new the future. Skin. As always, we've got mm -hmm. three special codes for you today. You know what to do. As summer arrives, we've prepared Oi, brand new summer doggy. electronic music for you in Fallout 4. After the update, let's follow the DJ's beat, wiggle, and enjoy the lively uh -huh. summer. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, Alongside mm -hmm. this event, a Fallout 84 summer remix will be shared on YouTube, so follow and join the party. Now, let's get back to the gameplay. In this update, we're making several changes to our in-game progression My system jetpack na ba? It's leveling up. Is These jetpack changes will back make early or game no? loading more focused and the combat more streamlined. First, let's talk about hero level cap. Hero level cap will be lowered from 10, to six. This means you'll level up faster and unlock Ooh. skills more quickly. Compared wow. to before, the overall pace will be changes faster and more intense. Yep. Oh, you said you don't like to fight and won't stand a chance against aggressive opponents or easily get killed right after you land? Mm. No need to fret. As a main support player myself, I'll show you how. After the update, there will be more ways to obtain XP's. All hero actions like weapon damage, skill damage, kills, assists, rescues, and revives will grant okay, XP. Okay, okay. The old shield XP devices all across the map will now provide hero XP as well. What's even better is that when one team member reaches it, the whole team will gain the XPs. Level differences oh. will also be compensated. If one team has a significantly lower level than others, XP will be granted. Other than these, the usual chests, sponsor box, airdrops, and surviving in the safe zone will all provide XP. So you don't have to always fight to get XP. This means you will reach the max level and be the best of you faster. Here comes the first code. Ooh, code guys, code, code, code. Take a screenshot. Oh, my skin is good. Now that we've covered gameplay, mm. let's talk about heroes. In the last version, the adorable Momoi made an early appearance. <laughs> So cute! In version 2.4, she will officially what? join the game anew. Momoi will be given a new <coughs> tactical Draco Joy Lift with a pet companion, maybe more in the future. Mm. I don't know. Momoi can hide inside the dragon and control its movement. <laughs> the dragon has a high mobility and its own HP, separate from Momoi's. Ooh, this is nice. Yes, the dragon can even swallow teammates and carry them around. Of course, what? they have to agree first. This works for down teammates too. When the skill oh, is game changer! Momoi and any teammates inside the dragon will continuously this regain It's gonna be a game changer, guys. So if a teammate is in danger, you can quickly get into the dragon, swallow them, and retreat to safety. <laughs> Momoi's ult has finally been reworked too. Introducing Pounce hmm. Pouncer. Momoi summons another dragon in the direction she's aiming, and it will automatically guard the area around her. When what? it detects enemies, it will intelligently switch between short and long range attack modes based on the distance to the target. Huh? In short range attack mode, the dragon's attack can slightly knock back enemies and huh? deal a small amount of damage. In long range attack mode, the dragon's attack will create a burning effect in the target area, causing continuous what? damage to enemies. If Momoi is knocked down or killed, her dragon becomes enraged, gaining increased attack and movement speed. Ooh, grabby buff game This new ult significantly enhanced Momoi's combat style. Unlike the Momoi old buff. airdrop, the new ultimate grants much more proactivity. Grabby. With these skills, Momoi will become a solid support for you. Whether it's fighting against enemies or protecting teammates, she will excel in her role. You can even use the dragon as a temporary cover in battles. But would you really use these cuties as a cover? Momoi's other tactical guardian this device game remains unchanged. Now, Momoi and her dragons are ready to meet you. Do try them out in the new update. Okay. Next, some hero skill adjustments are coming based on battle behaviors. Mm. Phantom. 
for a tactical <coughs> phantom crash, its throwing distance has been shortened, and it now has a delay upon activation and the shortening mm -hmm. enemies down. For the other tactical portable scout, the passive ability will no longer cause more damage to headshot enemies, but to provide a debuff to enemies hit by our skills, causing them to take increased damage. If the scan okay. doesn't detect any enemies, part of the pulldown will be returned. For her ultimate, while invisible, both Phantom and her teammates will receive a speed boost, and the Phantom will gain additional damage reduction, but the detection range for invisibility will be reduced. Freddy. His tactical mechanic decoy is now thrown with the right hand, significantly reducing the wind-up time. His other tactical digital blockade is now thrown with his left hand, allowing you to shoot and use the skill simultaneously. The data core size will increase over time. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And it can immobilize enemies though. longer. Dark side, damage reduction during the tactical roll has been nerfed from 75% to 40%. Watchman, oh, his no. ult has a longer cooldown now, but the sheriff's movement speed during ultimate has been increased. Maggie, Maggie's tactical jet leap now has a new passive ability that can sense the location of enemies. Ember, his tactical phantom drifter, Ember can now use the smoke bomb while in the drifter state. Mm. Michelle, her tactical face blaster now has a slightly shorter wind-up time and the throwing arc has been adjusted. Grab. Up. She has updates kind of Her tactical restoration field and her old Mandy X will no longer heal and recharge when taking damage. Sano, oh, Momo is now dead. has been upgraded, allowing you to perform a double jump. There are also other general adjustments that apply to all heroes. The volume of gunfire and footsteps has been adjusted so that they fade more naturally over distance. With the updated in-game sound effects, you'll be able to gather distant battle information more effectively than before. No. The animation for horizontal jetpack is also optimized for all heroes. That's all for the hero-related adjustments. Oh, and one more small update. This new feature enables continuous use of shield rechargers and healing items. Huh? You no longer need to keep pressing the screens or buttons all the time. You can enable or disable the enables. What? And one more small update. Apex this Legends? <laughs> this is from Apex Legends. Feature enables continuous use of shield rechargers okay. and healing items. You no longer need to keep pressing the screens or buttons all the time. You can enable or disable this feature in the settings menu. The second code is here, and we are almost oh, there. New code, guys. In the new version, the map will dynamically respawn revival device based on the remaining device in the current safe zone. This will provide more revival opportunities for fallen players, adding unpredictability and depth. The um, have you noticed this? Uh, new UI again. Every update. Look. New. Oh Predictability my God. and depth. The pace and the strategy of the rain are adjusted to increase its damage at the early stage. Yep, look the def the difference. Yet its construction speed and its warning time will be reduced. You should now be more careful earlier than later. We we'll also continue to upgrade the game's visual design. The better UI will become more streamlined and concise helping you grasp key information more quickly. This includes hero skills, weapons, items, in-game team info, and the spectator interface. At the same time, the default sorting logic of the backpack has been adjusted. It no longer categorizes items, allowing you to pick up any attachments freely. In this version, we're also restructuring the team display interface wow. to enhance immersion as you enter the battle. The team selection and confirmation process Ooh, will feature- Who is this? Maggie? Is that Maggie? Wait, let me check. Is that Maggie? The team selection and confirmation process will feature Who is this? Completely new style. As season one is near its end, season two is right on the horizon. From now on, our season will officially be set for three months, with no real resets midway through the season. 
Some new summer events will also be available alongside this longer season duration. In a new version, we've optimized the MMR matchmaking system. This means you will have a better chance of being matched with opponents and teammates who are in line with your skill level, helping you climb ranks faster. Moreover, there are detailed breakdowns on the score calculation page after each Three match. Months is you now long. see how your score is composed, including right. rank points, combat points, and win streak bonuses. Some ranks are modified to better reflect the Ballet brand. The Grand Master, Ace, and Mythic rank will be gone. The rank of a master, legendary stars, and Fallout Summit will be added instead. Mm -hmm. Compared to before, the competition in the higher ranks will become even more intense. In the new version, the legendary star rank will also switch to a star-based system where your ranks are clearer to see. Furthermore, during battles, tracker attacks will be displayed now. You can complete specific attacks to level up your season level quickly. We've also added some <sighs> interesting milestone records such as the highest historical achievements by time, settlement, and the season. You can now clearly see your personal highlight milestones for the current season. And there will be new items like the customizable pack in which you can choose heroes, hero skins, vehicle skins, and weapons. Next okay. up is the exclusive summer season for this summer, bringing us the following skins. You are skin, Momoi. Damn, Momoi. So summer. Sheesh. Oh, you're asking about my three little companions? They've transformed into small sharks and tiny water dragons. SSR scheme, Michelle, Kraken Party. I seen, I summon, everything around me begins to plea and tremble. SSR scheme, Look at Maggie, Maggie bro. Wave Rider. Maggie ventures into the sea pizza delivery business. Wind surfing straight to your doorstep. Fast and safe. SSR scheme, Dark Side, Sunny Concoction. Sweet and sour, the best coastal vitality Sheesh. drink. Passionately crafted by Mr. Ducky. You are weapon skin, UMP99, Leo Sharky. Just a kid toy. That's I'm not clean. kidding you. SSR weapon skin, M4, Zircon Waves. Who knows what the waves will bring ashore? Tosky jellyfish, beached whales, or perhaps just a beautiful starfish. SSR weapon skin, VSS, Tropical VSS. Current. Witness the storm like power of this mighty force and the never seen before. What? Or Kung Fu themed lottery event. Maggie, bro. It's Bruce Lee. And you I mean are she. King Maggie, Dragon Kick. Unstoppable. Bruce Lee, Maggie. Only speed can break it. Plus, various backpacks, trails, name card backgrounds, avatar frames, and more. The last code comes. Thanks for sticking around. We know that a lot has happened in the past six months. Changes and adjustments. But our love for the game, our fondness for Fallout 84 remains unchanged. We understand some of you may feel disappointed by the previous changes. Some have left, some still stay. We really appreciate your support during this time. As our development continues at full speed, we are in fact preparing for the launch of something crazy that goes far beyond the typical Battle Royale experience. What? Version 2.5 is going to be the Fallout 84 if you've never seen before. Oh, the actual rhyme. If you are a creator and if you are watching this video, we'd like to invite you to get in touch with us through the G form to get exclusive access to the facial info and PC beta before the new experience launches. PC beta? The link will be put in the description. Fallout 84's version 2.4 update will be released on July 11. This update will serve as a refreshing summer journey for everyone. Wait, as the final yeah, step for 2.5, it focuses more on optimizing and refining the gameplay experience. Faster gameplays, revamped Momoi, and so many more upgrades. Don't forget to join Momoi and her dragons in battles on July 11. July I'll see you all 11. in the IO City. Okay, that's it, that's it. So, what's your thoughts, guys? Um, comment down below what's your thoughts about the upcoming update and the next big update hmm, hmm, me is ah, a bit uh, a bit disappointed because you know I'm still hoping for a jetpack comeback and yeah that's it guys so I want to hear your opinion just comment down below 
And uh, will this bring back Farlight? We don't know. <laughs> so that's it. And let's wait for another update. So that's it, guys. Thank you for watching and peace out. Bye.